to my new Blender tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can make this um, crowd animation with geometry nodes and with the trick that we here have the same animation but a little bit offset it uh, in time so that it doesn't look too boring. So I don't waste your time, let's get right started. The important step for those who look these videos a second time and uh, that I can give you an overview of what we will do is first we import an FBX with a loopable animation. Loopable means the last and the first pose is the same. Then we will apply the rotation, just the rotation parameter and mesh. After this we apply the scale for mesh and then we will scale down the armature that it fits to our needs. Then we will select the hierarchy of the armature and with shift B we will create a copy. And in the nonlinear editor we will push down the action. Then we will increase the repeat value in the strip. We will move the strip forward. Then we will repeat step 5 until 8 as often uh, as we want to have different animation of the dancer. Then we will set the start frame of the animation to the last start frame of the strips. And we will move all meshes in one folder and then we create a geometry nodes tree with the use of this folder. And then we will uh, check pick instance and separate children and geometry nodes and then it will work. So I'm going to start with a brand new file here. I'm going to delete the default cube and I'm going to turn on my screencast keys so you see what I'm typing here so it's easier for you to follow. So I first add a mesh plane and then I'm going to import a Mixamo uh, FBX file which is an animation and an armature and a mesh and I take here twist dance. Why do I take a twist dance? Because it's loopable. So if you want to have a nice result it should be an animation where the last and the first frame is the same. So if I go here to the last frame you can see that the last frame is the same pose at the first frame this is important here so we have a nice loopable dancing animation. So first as I said we imported the loopable animation and now we will apply the rotation to armature and mesh. How do we do this? We just press Ctrl A and then we will apply rotation and then we will scale uh, apply the scale for mesh. So we open here the armature folder, we just uh, select the mesh, then we say Ctrl A and we say scale. Now we are at step 4 and we scale down the armature to our needs. So we select the armature here, we press S and we make this man a little bit smaller, as small as you like and as small as you need it. Now we are at uh, step 5 and we select the hierarchy. So we go to armature, right click, select hierarchy and we press shift D. Return and now we have 2 and let's press shift R to repeat our last step a few times. So we have um, yeah, 6 different offsets for the animation. I think that's fine, that's enough. And now we go to the nonlinear editor. So we go here, we press this button, then you can choose your workspace here, and we go to nonlinear animation. Now we choose our first armature. We press push down. That is, by the way, already step six, push down. Then um, step 7, increase repeat in strip. So we select the strip here and we just 
open action clip and we increase the repeat value and as you can see here down here you see the animation will be repeated so this little guy here doesn't stop dancing because he will dance forever so now next step move strip forward so we just take the strip here and we move it with the mouse a little bit forward now we do this for armature one again so armature one push down and then repeat and then move forward and then the next one push down repeat and move it a bit forward push down repeat and move it a bit forward push down repeat and move a bit forward push down select the right one repeat and push a bit forward so now we have done step nine we go to set start frame of animation to last start of strips what do i mean with that well we want to dent them all together so we move it here to this start because this is the last start here so 177 by this so we can just change here to the timeline and say start 177 you see now they are all dancing together uh, now we move all meshes in one folder this is by we open the armature we press we select here the mesh and uh, we keep holding it's a command key on my key keyboard because I'm using a Mac I think it's control or alt on, on your Windows PC if you have a Windows PC but I think you know the key so I don't have to tell you this and if you have now selected all meshes you press M new collection <coughs> and call them dancers okay and then you have a dancer collection here which we make now for now invisible because we don't need it and now you just see the armatures here dancing so what we need next we select our plane and we say geometry nodes new geometry nodes tree and what we want to do now is uh, have more dancers of course so we use distribute points on faces and we say instance on points and what we need now is our collection so we just drag and drop our dancers here and now we select these dancers and put them in instance and say pick instance and now you see you have a big mess here all you have to do now is scale down a bit and looks like we need um, X rotation and now they're all looking it's already looking good and press control zero and then you will get the joint for free now we have a ground here and we use poison disk and increase the density and we can now with the distance play a little bit so they don't dance too near to each other now we have one problem so because this one is dancing too close to the edge he might fall over we don't want this so what we do we enter a mesh in the middle let's take a cube why not we scale it down now we make this cube invisible we choose our plane again we choose a cube and put it in here and what we do now is we use a proximity node so we take the proximity to the cube 
and this should be we put here where we'll delete geometry and we delete not points but we delete instances and we delete these instances which distance is lower than or less than a special value and this special value we can choose why are these less than node and if you, you see if I increase this I can determine how many people or how near they should dance to the edge so now it's looking pretty good pretty nice and we can increase the density a bit so and maybe even make them a little bit closer okay this might be a little bit too close okay still too close yeah that's good And as you can see, we already have a pretty nice animation and they all dance a little bit offsetted. Of course, you can also now play with shader nodes. Well, this is what I wanted to show you. I hope you have had some fun. I hope you have learned something. Have fun. Bye.